Hi, boys and girls. Here's a video to remind you how to add fractions that equal to one whole. So um, if you recall, when you have a number over itself, it's equal to one whole. So here's an example. I've got this bar and it's broken into two pieces. And if I get this piece and that piece, um, then I have the whole bar. I have two out of two pieces. Remember that there's many ways to say fractions. We can say two out of two. We can say two halves. We can say two divided by two. So if I get two out of the two pieces, then I get the whole thing. Same thing here, three out of three or three thirds. If I get to have this one, this one, and this one, then I get the whole thing. So this shows, I'll make that one um, a pretty color, pretty color blue here. So um, there we go. Oops, that didn't work. All right, so we'll make this this pretty color blue. So if I get to color those, I get to color them all my own color, so I got to color the whole thing, the whole bar, three out of three. Um, and same thing here, it doesn't matter what number's on the bottom, if the very same number's on the top, it is equal to one. So if we have a bar that's divided into nine pieces, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I get to collect all of them, say they're bars of gold, and I get to collect all the bars of gold, then I get um, the whole thing, the whole bar. Um, so there you go. If the number was 100 over 100, it's still going to be equal to one whole. It just means that our bar was broken into 100 pieces instead of two or three or nine. So what you're going to have to do on your worksheet is decide what should replace the question mark. So if we have blank, plus three-fourths equals one. I've given you a visual here. So we have this bar and three pieces of it are colored blue. So um, if we were gonna color the whole thing blue, we would have to color one more fourth. So the correct answer here, the thing that would replace the um, question mark would be one fourth. One fourth plus three fourths equals one. And you might notice three plus one equals four. So you would end up having four fourths. So here's another one with a visual. Five eighths plus blank equals one. And we have this bar, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, broken into eight pieces like our denominator. And we have five of them colored in pink. And how many more do we need to color in order to color one whole bar pink? Well, we need to color three more or three eighths since it's broken into eighths. So what would replace this question mark? Well, three eighths would replace the question mark. So three eighths or five eighths plus three eighths equals one. And we would want to color those in. Let's see if I can find the right color. Pink. There we go. So without a visual, you have two fifths plus blank equals one. How many fifths do we have to put here to equal one? Well, if you recall up here, these two top numbers, the two numerators, have to equal the denominator. So five plus three equals eight because, I want to show this up here, equals 8 eighths. Remember when we add, we do not add the numerator. We keep the numerator the same. So 5 eighths plus 3 eighths equals 8 eighths, which equals 1 whole. And let's go back and do that here. 1 fourth plus 3 fourths equals 4 fourths, and 4 fourths equals one whole. So that's what you're trying to do. So two-fifths plus blank, we want it to equal five-fifths. So what's going to go in there? I hope you said three-fifths. 
because two fifths plus three fifths equals five fifths, which equals one whole. Blank plus six ninths equals one, and we want that to be nine, I hope I said that right, nine ninths. So blank plus six ninths equals nine ninths or one whole. So what are we gonna have to put in here? I hope you said three ninths. Three ninths plus six ninths equals nine ninths and nine ninths equals one whole. I wanted to put that there to show you that when you have the same numerator and the same denominator, you've got one whole. Five elevenths plus blank equals one. So we want it to equal five elevenths plus some number of elevenths equals 11 elevenths. So what would that be? That would be six elevenths. Five elevenths plus six elevenths equals 11 elevenths which equals one whole. If we had a bar down here that had 11 pieces on it, um, I wonder if, it, well, let's do this one, the nine. If we had a bar down here that had nine pieces on it, and at first we had three of them, one, two, three, that we could color any color we wanted. Let's say we want to color it um, red. How many more pieces are we going to have to color red to get the whole bar red? One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's what we put in there. And then we would color those all red and we would have the entire bar shaded red. So, I hope that makes sense to you. So that is how you add to get to one whole.